today at Candy Gaming, we got a budget home theater PC build for just under $200. Let's quickly get an overview of the parts, which were all brand new. For $40, I picked up the Intel G1820 Celeron processor, which features a 2.7 GHz dual-core CPU with a 53-watt TDP and integrated graphics. We're going to be running this on the stock cooler, which will be perfectly fine for the HTPC purposes. The motherboard I selected was a Micro ATX MSI H81M E33. I picked this up for $47. Don't make the same mistake I did by ordering the P33 model, which does not include an HDMI port. For the RAM, we chose the 4GB DDR3 8 Data XPG RAM. It's got a heat spreader and it's 1600 speed. This is going to be plenty for a home theater PC. The power supply I picked was the Corsair CX430M, which was $25 after rebate. This PSU is perfect for any low power budget build because it is very quiet, energy efficient because it is bronze certified, includes low wattage, it features semi-modular cables for easy connectivity, and not to mention it is a reliable brand with an excellent price point if you could catch it on sale. For the case we have the Rosewell Ranger M Micro ATX case for $30 without any rebate which is nice for our budget build because of its price, size, and simplicity. For $26, we have the star of this build, which is the Logitech Wireless K400 Plus keyboard, which features a trackpad, so I don't have to have a separate mouse when I'm on the couch trying to watch a movie or play a game. That leads our total to $187. Did not include a hard drive this budget because I had 120 gigabyte Samsung SSD laying around. Most builds do not include the keyboard in the budget, so if you subtract that, that's $161. So for about $40, you could easily pick up a 120 gigabyte SSD or a 500 gigabyte hard drive, which would make for a total of around $200. The operating system I picked was Windows 8.1 because I am more familiar with it, and I could always upgrade to 10 for free later. This was not included in the budget because I got the OS free through my college. If you're interested in a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install your copy of Windows through your college, I've made a video that you can click here or you can click the description and it goes over the steps from onthehub.com all the way up to booting up your brand new system. As you can see, I've started the build. The first thing to do is drop in the Celeron processor. The next step is to put on the CPU heatsink. Make sure to plan ahead and orient the heatsink so that the fan header will be facing the plug in the motherboard and it will be able to reach it. Next we could slot in the ADATA XPG RAM. Now that the motherboard's all set, let's go ahead and open up the case. Remove the side panels, clear the cables out of the way so we could insert the motherboard mounting screws. Now that we can place the motherboard on top of the mounting locations and screw the motherboard onto the case. You could install the IO shield first, but I'm opting to leave it out because I think I might be upgrading pretty recently in the future. Next we can mount the power supply at the top of the case. Make sure the fan is facing the bottom since there is no intake on the top. Once this is in, we can now start plugging everything in. First we're going to plug in the CPU power. I had to split mine in half because the processor only requires a 4 pin header on this motherboard. The next thing I'm going to do is put in the 24 pin motherboard power connector. Next we're going to plug in the cords for the case and the fans. The audio, the USB interface and the fans are pretty explanatory. Uh, the, my least favorite part is the power and reset switches. I kind of struggle with this. Just look up your manual online and you can see as pictured this is probably the easiest way for you to install this if you're using this video as a guide. I decided to place the SSD right here with the Pokemon card, cause why the hell not? And that should about wrap up this build, I hope you enjoyed it.
In closing, I want to say this. This was a cheap, power efficient build for under $200, and it's excellent use for a home theater PC. I purposely planned this build with the ability to upgrade in the future. If you like this video, stay tuned and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. We will be doing an upgrade video sometime in the future where I turn this HD PC into a gaming emulator box for the living room. This is Kevin from Candy Gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.